Hi, I have a beautiful story here I want to read to you about an autumn hide and seek called Hedge Hugs. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to make funny shadows as the sun comes up. They like to follow shiny snail trails and catch dewdrops from leaves. And after a rain, they like to spot sparkling spider webs. When Horace is busy, Hattie likes to decorate her nest. When Hattie is busy, Horace likes to practice his music. One windy autumn day, the sky was filled with leaves falling from the trees. It was pretty, but Hattie felt sad that the branches would soon be empty. Horace didn't want Hattie to be sad. He gathered up as many leaves as he could and was trying to put them back on the tree when suddenly something squeaked. Squeak, squeak. Little purple thing there. What is that? Horace and Hattie leaped with surprise. They landed in a pile of leaves. The squeaky thing thought it was a game. He loved to play hide and seek. It's a little purple bat. Horace and Hattie loved to play games too. They were experts at hiding and seeking. First, Horace and Hattie searched for their new friend in the blackberry bushes. When they found him hidden in a tangle of brambles, he squeaked with joy. There he is, look at him down there hidden in the purple grapes. It took the squeaky thing a long time to spot his friends among the seed pods. Where are they? There's one of them, there's Hattie, there's Horace. Horace and Hattie knew the squeaky thing was hidden somewhere beneath the toadstools and mushrooms. Squeak! At last they found him. Where is he? Up oh, there he is, hidden under there. The three friends giggled. It was so much fun to play hide and seek. Horace had one last hiding spot. He spied a secret spot. Oh, where's he going? Where'd he go? Hattie hunted. The squeaky things searched. They looked and looked. Horace waited and waited until, where is he? Surprise! Horace popped out of the pumpkin. The other two squealed in fright and delight. When the last leaf fell from the tree, it was time for the squeaky thing to return to his family. Hattie felt sad again. Horace had an idea. He whispered to their new little friend. And the tree came alive with colorful leaves, laughter, and lots of new squeaky friends. Look at all the purple bats all over the place in the tree. It looks beautiful. The end. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make our own tree. And what I have here is a plain piece of canvas. And I'm going to take my tree trunk and I'm going to put glue on it. I'm going to glue it all up really good. Lots of glue, lots of glue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my canvas. And there's my tree on my canvas. Then I'm going to take, I have a whole bunch of little tissue paper. I'm going to put a little glue on it and I'm going to put it on my trees. And I can either put it on my tissue paper and then put it on the tree, or I can just put a lot of glue Oops, that moved off a little bit, didn't it? Put a lot of glue on my tree and just squish them all on there till I'm done with them. So you kind of get the idea, right? So you put them all on there. There's a whole bunch of you put them all on there. And then at the end, what I have here is I have a little sticker that you each have and this little squirrel, he's reading books. And I just put him down here inside the tree. And that's gonna be your little craft for the day. Enjoy and have a good day.